So this question is considered difficulty 3.5 out of 5, mainly because SAT knows that students are going to spend a long time trying to solve this question. But here's how you can turn it into difficulty 1 and solve it super quickly. So the question says, which of, what is the sum of the values of x that satisfies the equation above right here? What's unique about this question is that this question is using absolute values. And what most students would end up start doing is they're going to start plugging in numbers in for x and trying to see what gives them a result of 4. Plugging and chugging works, but it takes you a very long time. So what you're going to do instead is create a two separate versions. One half x plus 3 is equal to 4, and one half x plus 3 is equal to negative 4. And you're going to simply solve for x, and that's going to give us the values of x that satisfy this equation over here. So first, we're going to subtract this 3 and get one half x is equal to positive 1. Multiply by 2 on both sides, we're going to get x is equal to positive 2. That's one of them. This one, again, same thing, minus 3. We get 1 half x is equal to negative 7. Multiply by 2 on both sides, we get x is equal to negative 14. So these are the two values, and the question is asking for what is the sum of the values, right? So minus 14 plus 2 is equal to just negative 2. Our answer is going to be choice B. You're definitely going to see this question again, and when you do, don't plug and chug. You're wasting your time. Instead, create two versions and solve for the solutions.